Guten Abend, geschätzte Zuschauer. Hello and welcome. The elite meeting of the world's eight most powerful countries, the G8 conference in Sochi, has been called off. Why? The heads of power in the remaining seven countries emphasize unanimously that this is in protest of Russia annexing Crimea. Annexation means violent, illegal usurping of foreign territory, in this case Crimea. In this point, it must be emphasized over and over again that not Crimea, but West Ukraine fell victim to annexation. The Ukrainian government was violently and illegally overthrown through a terrorist coup. It is proven that this was orchestrated by the USA and carried out by US paid terrorists, a clear violation of international law. Crimea, on the other hand, was annexed to Russia by the democratic choice of 96% of its voters. This is in complete accordance with international law. Please watch our previous broadcast for more details about this. Without being charged by any prosecuting authorities of, of public inciting war through lies, instigating agitation of the people, mainstream media has been allowed to repeat, hammering into people in an almost chanting manner, weighty lies about Russia. Klagemauer TV points out this is how false historical ro reports are created. While the G7 greets the neutral OSCE, Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, they at the same time agree to economic help for West Ukraine and military support for NATO countries. Parallel to this, they threaten to follow an unswerving course of painful sanctions for Russia should it attack southern or eastern Ukraine. Again, a blatant lie. Russia did not attack anyone. These slanderous rumors are proved to be untrue through cam uh, countless cameras on location. Yet still another blatant twisting of the truth on top of this. In apparent open-hearted attitude, Russia is assured that the diplomatic doors are open so that it still has a chance to take a different course. Which course? Should they follow the course of history, the history lies being created this very moment? The slanderous claims which in no way come close to the truth? Where are you, public prosecutors? Why are you not taking action? Do you not know that your neglect in such cases cannot be erased by a statutory period of limitation? Do you want to become guilty of assisting the beginning of the next war here in Europe? Is there no one who will put this slander to an end with a counter voice? In the midst of this issue, Switzerland faces the question, as an independent nation, whether it should participate in the Western sanctions against Russia. Absolutely not, say concerned Swiss. Also, current president of the OSCE, Didier Burkhalter, stated, we will not ally ourselves with one side or the other. We will follow the situation and will make decisions as they impose themselves. The citizens of Switzerland are calling on Swiss politicians to demonstrate the benefits of neutrality in just this situation. Even if only the five Swiss amongst the 109 delegates to the OC, OSCE honestly and neutrally stand up for the truth, then the truth will come to the light. This is the only way these warmongers and their media allies will lose their power and the war in Europe can be avoided still in the last minute. More and more citizens call us to check exactly who are the members of this OSCE delegation. Fear and suspicion arise that also here only seemingly neutral people could go on with the war propaganda. Klagemauer TV thanks for all facts and evidence. All evidence is helpful.